If you're someone that does or is taking A-level physics, then I want you to answer this quick question for me. How many times have you generally thought to yourself, this subject sucks, it's way too hard, it takes so much revision and practice to actually get good at it, any sort of things like that. If you've asked any of these questions, then you were just like me. I was getting U's, D's, E's, the worst grades you could possibly think of I was getting when I first started physics. But believe it or not, I transformed that into an A star. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can do that too through four simple ways. Physics is definitely the hardest A level and you're gonna need that time to revise for it. So let me not waste your time and get straight into it. The first thing I wanna talk about is someone called science shorts on youtube this is basically a guy that specializes in a-level physics which i can say he literally saved my a-level now what he does is he does past paper and topic walkthroughs on basically everything you can think of especially for aqa physics in particular and i don't know how much i could actually recommend him he speaks clearly he talks about these topics in detail and most importantly in his videos he actually uses pictures and diagrams which means mentally challenged people like me can actually understand it. in physics where it's so important to actually comprehend what you're doing this is why it's so crucial and this is why you need someone like this to refer back to for these topics and these hard questions that you can easily get quickly the second thing is don't pass by topics in a-level physics you need to get them what i mean by this in a lot of subjects you can just sort of pass by the topics get a general understanding and then go through to the next one in A-level physics, that simply isn't the case and I can't stress this enough. You need to actually know what that topic is, how it works, why it works, etc. You need to fully get that topic and I'll tell you why. There've been so many times when I've been doing past papers or practice questions, I'd think that I got that topic, that I understood it. But then when doing these questions, I'd see a random two or three marker that just absolutely slumps me. and makes me question if I even did the topic in the first place. So when it comes down to physics, don't breeze by these topics. Make sure you understand it. Make sure you memorize the content. Content. Make sure you understand the questions and what they're actually asking from. The third thing I'm going to speak about is just a few key resources for physics. So firstly, PMT, Physics and Maths 2, there are tons and tons of physics questions on there. They have tons of resources, mind maps, and notes are very, very good on PMT for physics, especially AQA, Edexcel, whatever you're doing. So definitely use Physics and Maths 2 for physics A-level. When looking at actual past papers and official papers, I would go straight to your exam board for them. They're official, they're easier to download, and they're the best way to get them. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. When it comes down to physics, when we're talking about the best way to revise, the best resource you can use, I'm not gonna lie to you, questions are simply on top. Answering questions, having to recall that information that you learned in the past is the best way to get that stuck in your brain and ready for the exam. Because at the end of the day, that exam is just a bunch of questions. So why not memorize them? Why not get good at answering them already? The reason that I was able to go from a U to an A star and learn so quickly is because I prioritize questions. I didn't go around highlighting notes and just reading through. I did questions, questions, questions. And what did I do after that? Even more questions. It sounds stupid, it sounds boring, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. And if you want that grade badly enough, then definitely check that out. And last but not least, the final and last thing I'm gonna talk about is your mindset. Imagine this scenario, okay? We're gonna have two people, the first one and the second one. They're both given the same information. We both know that physics is a hard subject. The first person gets demotivated. You know, they say, you know, physics is so hard. I need to focus on my other subjects. I can't even do this. I can't even get started. Like there's so much content, etc. And what happens is they're going to do less revision. And then when it comes down to the exams, they're going to get those U, E, D grades and they're going to fail. Now let's look at the second person. They get the same information that physics is a pretty hard subject, but instead they take Taken this way, they say, you know what, I'm doing a hard subject. I pride myself in that, but I know that I can handle this. I know that people have done harder things in their lives before, so I can do this. They get more motivated, they get more revision done, and they think, you know what, this is gonna be such a flex when I actually do survive A-level physics, and I get that A-star, and I show all my friends, and they're impressed. So they're gonna obviously get more revision done, and that means because they're slamming out all of these questions, they're gonna succeed in that last exam. I know my handwriting is bad, but just bear with me. So now at the end of this scenario, what do we have? We have one person who got that A star and one person who got that D. And the only actual difference between them, mindset. I know I'm talking about physics as if you're going to war and it's the hardest thing to ever do in the world, but I'm not gonna lie, A-level was a challenge and it's going to be a challenge for you too. All I'm trying to do is prepare you for the reality that your mindset is gonna be challenged. You can either be student one or student two. 
And I don't know about you, but I know which one I want to be. So these are the four ways that made me go from a U to an A star and how you're going to make A-level physics the easiest thing you could possibly do because you're now prepared. If you really struggle with being productive and locking into your work and being focused, then I say join my free community below. There's tons of students there just like you with tons of like-minded people and there's even a few resources there to really help you out. So I hope this video actually helped you and I hope you get that A star.